Hello, nice to see you again. In this video, we will prove to you that the Islamic Isa, who Muslims claim it is the same Jesus who we Christians worship as our Lord and Savior, glory to his name, the biblical historical Lord Jesus Christ. When we ask the black stone kissing Muslimin, why in Islam only Jesus is born from a virgin, they will start to tap dance and give us all kind of silly arguments. One of the arguments that we often hear is that Adam has no father either. But what they won't tell you is that Adam is the first human which Allah supposedly created. So that is really a hopeless, silly argument from our Muslim friends. And why or why is Mary's body in Islam purified from any sense to carry the Islamic Jesus in her womb? Why did Satan in Islam, according to the Prophet Muhammad, why Satan failed to touch Jesus and his mother Mary in Islam? Why did Satan touch the mother of Muhammad? Why or oh why? Again, they have no answer for such questions. Why is Jesus so special, ya Muslimin? Why is he so special in Islam? Why is Muhammad not born from a virgin? Why only Jesus Christ? Again, no answer. Well, we Christians, when we study the Quran carefully, we have the answer. We will get the answer. According to the Quran, the Islamic Jesus is Allah himself. Yes, you heard it correctly. Jesus is equal with Allah himself. Even in the Quran, the Islamic Jesus is equal with Allah. And of course, we have proof. I am not going to make such claims without providing some ayahs for you from the Quran, right? To back up my claims, won't I? <laughs> now, without further ado, let us show you some examples. Now, when we go to chapter 3, ayah 49, to show you the first example, we can read that Jesus saying the following, وَأُنَبِّئَكُمْ بِمَا تَأْكُلُونَ وَمَا تَدَّخِرُونَ فِي بُيُوتِكُمْ I, Jesus, will tell you what you eat and what you store up in your homes. Wait a second. Here, Jesus is claiming to have knowledge of the unseen. Now, when we ask Muslims, who has the only knowledge of the unseen in Islam? They, without hesitation, will say, it's Allah who has the only knowledge of the unseen. Ulum al ghaib the knowledge of the unseen, is only for Allah. Muhammad doesn't know. Musa doesn't know, Abraham doesn't know, but it seems that Jesus and Allah are the only ones in Islam who do have that knowledge. Jesus knows what you will eat and what you will store in your houses. Hmm, what does it make Jesus again, ya Muslimin? Here is a second example from the Quran. If we go to chapter 29, Surah al ankabut the spider, ayah 46, we can read, and do not argue with the people of the scripture, meaning the Jews and the Christians, except in a way that is best, except for those who commit injustice among them, and say, we Muslims believe in that which has been revealed to us, and revealed to you, O Jews and Christians. And our God and your God is one, to the rest of the ayah. Wait a second, here, the Muslims are addressing the people of the scripture. Those are the Jews and the Christians. So, this ayah is addressing us, the Christians. But wait a second. If we go to the last part of the ayah, Muhammad himself created a huge disaster for himself and the Ummah. And here is why. It says the following, again. And our God Allah and your God Jesus is one. Why Jesus? Because he is the God of the Christians, the people of the book. The Christians are the people of the book. So he and Muhammad for a split second forgot that Christians worship Jesus. Uh-oh. And that's what the Arabic also says. Wa ilahana wa ilahakum wahid. Oh Christians, ya ahlul kitab. Wa ilahana wa ilahakum wahid. O people of the book, O Christians, our God, Allah, and your God, Jesus, is one. Did you catch it? 
So I want my brothers and sisters in Christ to use this very ayah that you see here on the screen more often in your debates to prove that Jesus is also Allah in the Quran. Again, our God Allah and your God Jesus, O Christians, is one. This is the nail on the coffin of Muhammad. Now imagine if a Muslim would read chapter 29, ayah 46 for you and it will say, Oh, uh, my friend, uh, I know you're a Christian, but our God Allah and your God Jesus is one. But as a Christian, you need to ask him, hey, wait, you just claimed that my Jesus and your Allah are one. So why should I recite my shahada and become a Muslim again? You just told me that Jesus and Allah are one. So why should I become a Muslim? Hmm. And to finish it off, here's the final example. Example number three. This is Surah At-Tawbah, chapter 9, ayah 31. أَتَّخَذُوا أَحْبَارُهُمْ وَرُهْبَانُهُمْ أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ وَالْمَسِيحَ إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ إِلَىٰ آخر الآية, To the rest of the ayah. They have taken their rabbis and their monks as gods besides Allah and the Messiah, the son of Mary, to the rest of the ayah. So here, <laughs> the Quran is addressing the Christians. They, the Christians, have taken their rabbis and their monks as gods, arbaban, besides Allah and the Messiah, the son of Mary. Did you catch it? So, who are the gods? Allah and the Messiah. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Oh, Christians, listen carefully. Don't take your rabbis and monks as gods. No, no. The real gods in Islam are Allah and the Messiah. There you see it. Back to back with chapter 29, ayah 46, the last example that we mentioned, it becomes painfully clear that Allah and Jesus are equal with one another. The only gods, the Arbab, the lords, are Allah and the Messiah in Islam. Bam! I hope you just enjoyed how even the satanic book, which is the Quran of Muhammad, the satanic book, which is the Quran, has to confirm that Jesus is Lord. Glory to his name. Jesus is God. So Muslims, why do you tell us that we are mushrikeen, that we are idolaters, that we associate partners with Allah? Well, the Quran makes it painfully clear that Allah and Jesus, the Messiah, are one. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Allow it to go viral. God bless.